Hi, I'm Jim McCutcheon, owner of McCutcheon Music, and on this Choose Your Instrument series video, we're going to welcome Matthew Snyder, who holds a degree in clarinet and who has taught for many years. Matthew is going to show us a number of wonderful things about this instrument. Welcome, Matthew. Hi, this is the clarinet. We have the mouthpiece, barrel, upper joint, lower joint, and bell. The reed goes against the mouthpiece. It help, what it does is it vibrates in order to make a sound. I want to play for you one of my favorite Disney pieces. Let's see if you can recognize it. So the clarinet has a pretty extensive range. It can go really low and really high. And on top of that, the dynamic range is pretty massive too. It can go from really loud to really quiet. And there are some other cool features of the clarinet, like in jazz, you have something called a glissando. And flutter tonguing. So you strike the reed really fast against the, you strike the tongue really fast against the reed. So what's really important about a clarinet that can do all of those things, it has to be well made. It has to be a name brand instrument that you know your band director has heard of. It, it can't be something that you go online and you know you find for really cheap and nobody's not quite sure who manufactured it and where. And it's important to be able to take that instrument to a repair technician that you can trust if anything were to go wrong with it. So if a pad falls out, if the cork strips, if you get any kind of key bending. It's important to build relationships with those repair technicians and um, you know to be able to help you with those problems. And it's also important to be able to find a music teacher, you know, a clarinet instructor who can help you, you know, develop good habits along the way. So using really light fingers that don't bend the keys when you're assembling and taking apart the instrument. Someone who can help teach you to use really light fingers without any kind of tension. And, um, you know, and I, I strongly recommend renting at first. You know, you'll be accruing money toward purchase of the instrument and without any of the risks of owning it. And um, someday when you own your instrument, you know, it's important to have maintain that instrument through a repair technician. That way, when it's time to sell it, maybe you're going to upgrade to a different instrument. Um, a, a nicer clarinet, for instance, uh, you'll be able to get as much money out of that clarinet as you can. So uh, some things to take from this, you know, make sure that you are taking your instrument to a reputable repair technician, that you have a name brand instrument, and um, that you're doing everything in your power to maintain um, the instrument's value and to, you know, be studying with a private instructor who can help guide you. Well, thank you so much, and good luck on your musical journey. Thank you, Matthew. That was certainly interesting. The clarinet is a wonderful instrument. It can go so low and so high and be so loud and yet so soft. That was a great demonstration. Here at McCutcheon Music, we have excellent student instruments as well as professional clarinets. We have a very budget-friendly rental program and we would love to talk to you about 
how we can be instrumental in helping your child with their musical education. Call us at the number on your screen, and we look forward to talking with you. Thank you.